Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Lindoro Perdomo and Pablo Ricardi. This game was played in Buenos Aires, Argentina in 2005. Perdomo had white pieces and he started with d4. Ricardi played d5, c4, queen's gambit, and now knight to c6, the Chigorin defense. c takes on d5. Queen takes on d5. White wants to play knight to c3, but then queen takes on d4. e3, defending the pawn, and black played the standard move. e5. Let's take it back. What if white plays knight to f3 instead? Is this preventing? e5. It is not. Black can play e5. And if d takes on e5, Queen takes queen, king takes queen, bishop to g4, bishop to f4, knight on g to e7, intending knight to g6 and castling queen side. Black has good results from this position too. Back to our game. e3 was played. e5, knight to c3 attacking the queen, bishop to b4 pinning the knight, bishop to d2 and pinning. Bishop takes on c3, bishop takes on c3, e takes on d4, knight to e2, the best move. We know that if pawn takes, the knight to f6, and black is doing well, the bishop on c3 would rather be a knight. So we have knight to e2, knight to f6, knight takes on d4, Riccardi castle kingside. White move. Bishop to e2. If knight to b5, queen to g5. See the previous game in the playlist. Bishop to e2. Daring black to take on g2. Would you take on g2? Well, it's very tempting. Riccardi played knight to e4. Sometimes black takes on g2. Could be risky. One game went like this. Bishop to f3, queen to g6, knight takes on c6, b takes on c6, queen to d4, bishop to f5, and white cast at queen's side. There was a game like this in 2004. Play with black pieces. Karpatev won against Shafranich. But it is still risky for black to play like this. Back to our game. Knight to e4 was played. Knight takes on c6, queen takes on c6, bishop to d4. If bishop to f3, knight takes on c3. So play with white pieces, removed the target. Bishop to d4, queen to g6. And Perdomo castled king's side. Bishop to f5, rook to c1 c6, white to move. He just couldn't stand the knight on e4 and played f3. But there is a tiny, tiny downside with this move. Anyway, it is black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? What would you do? Riccardi played bishop to h3. How to defend against queen takes on g2. g4 was played. If g3, one line goes like this. Can you see the obvious move for black now? Then, knight takes on g3, and if h takes on g3, queen takes on g3, check. King to h1, queen to g2, check, mate. Back to our game. So g4 was played. Bishop takes rook, black won the exchange. Bishop takes bishop. Black to move. Perhaps knight to g5 looks like a sensible move too. c5 was played. Bishop to d3. If bishop takes on c5, knight takes on c5, rook takes on c5, rook from a to c8, and black is better. Back to our game. After c5, bishop to d3. Pawn takes bishop, bishop takes on e4. Black to move. How would you continue now? What is the best move for black in this position? 
Perhaps queen to e6 is not a bad move. Riccardi played f5. Bishop to d5 check. If bishop takes on f5, then the rook takes on f5. The pawn on g4 is pinned. Bishop to d5 check. King to h8. Queen takes on d4. Rook from a to d8, pinning the bishop. Rook to c7. F takes on g4. F4. G3. H4. If h3, then rook to g8. After king to g2. Queen to d6. If now bishop takes rook, queen takes on c7 and black is winning. Back to our game. h4. Queen to g4 was played. Rook to g8 is also a good move. Queen to g4. King to g2. Rook from f to e8. e4. Rook to c8. Rook to c3. Queen takes on h4, threatening queen to h2 check. Rook takes on g3. Plevit, white pieces was happy because he is creating some threats. But his king is too exposed. Rook to c2 check. King to f3. Queen to h5 check. Rook to g4. Black to move. Black. Play the move when white resigned. What would you do in this position if you had the black pieces? Riccardi played. Queen to h1 check. And play with white pieces resigned in view of this continuation. If king goes to e3 then queen to h3 check, rook to g3, queen takes on g3. If king goes to g3 then rook to g2 check, king to f3, queen to f1 check, king to e3, queen to e2 check, mate. What do you think of this game? In the coming days, I hope to bring you Chigorin defense played on the highest level. There is a game like that between Richard Report, who with black pieces crushed Levon Aronian. Would you like to crush Queen's Gambit with black pieces? Would you like to become a better chess player? Now is the time. Why wait? Please click on the link below the video and get your Chigor in defense right now. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.